Welcome back to another episode of the Child Care Director's Chair. And right now, I know many of you are looking to find the right staff member for your child care center, and it's crucial to providing safe and nurturing environment for the children in your care. And hiring the right person can be challenging. Um, sometimes we don't get a lot of great applications to begin with. But with the right approach and a clear understanding of what you're looking for, you can ensure that you can make the best choice for your center. So I wanted to offer you 15 tips that I think can help you during the process. Number one is define the role. Start with clearly defining the role that you are hiring for. Consider the specific responsibilities, qualifications, and experience required for the position. Number two, make sure that you have created a detailed job description. Craft a comprehensive job description that outlines the expectations and requirements for the role. And be specific about the skills, certifications, and educational background that you are seeking. Next is cast out a wide net and advertise as widely as possible. <clears throat> Utilize various platforms to advertise job openings, such as online job boards, social media, local community resources. This will help you reach a wider pool of potential candidates. I know we tend to all go to the Indeed or ZipRecruiter, but there are other ways to find talented people outside of that. So, you know, maybe even connecting with a local um, college that has early childhood education students, um, particularly if you are running a school age program um, those schedules seem to work really well for uh, teachers who are currently in school um, and have days where they have classes in the evenings uh, they have available to work or early morning schedules. So, you know, advertise outside of just the traditional um, advertising platforms. Number four is screen resumes carefully. Review resumes thoroughly and pay close attention to relevant experience qualifications, and certifications or licenses required for the role. If you are looking for TAs or, or positions that don't require a lot of certifications, you can have some in-house training readily available to bring people up to task. Um, first aid uh, and uh, CPR certifications would be certainly where I would start immediately. And some states have even put together online orientations that you can ask people to uh, complete before they even walk through the doors of your child care center. Number five is conduct thorough interviews. Prepare a list of interview questions that assess the candidate's experience, knowledge, and ability to handle difficult and different situations in a child care setting. And if you are the sole person who does interviews, it certainly would make sense to include the co-teacher who would be working with that person in the interview for some part of the interview uh, session, if not all of it, but at least some part to see how their personalities would jive, how they communicate together, um, and then also ask their perspective, is this somebody that they could spend, you know, eight or nine hours a day with, and what would that look like? So um, it's really important to have interviews where your team is involved in that process. Also, observe their interactions with children. If it's possible to arrange for the candidate to spend some time in your child care center before offering them a permanent position, you know, observe their interactions with the children. This will give you a very good understanding of their approach and their suitability for the role and the way that they jive with the rest of your team. Um, I think that that's really important. You can have somebody with multiple degrees, but it doesn't mean that they're going to be the right fit. And certainly make sure you ask them about their, their teaching philosophy and make sure that it is in line with your teaching philosophy at your center. Always check references. It's very easy to overlook that, but always contact the candidate's references to gain insight on their previous work performance and relatability and reliability. Um, all those things really do need to be checked. Um, 
I know that in most cases, people, especially if you see gaps, may leave out places that they worked because they don't want you to call. So really, if there are gaps in employment, you really want to dig down and see why that might be. Also, if they've worked at a lot of child care centers in a short amount of time, that might tell you one or two things. It could tell you they haven't found the right program for them yet, or it could tell you that they're not going to stay very long. And honestly, I'd rather have an open vacancy for another week for me to find the right candidate than to just put a body in that you're going to be replacing again in three or four weeks anyway. Don't waste your time. Don't waste their time. And certainly, families don't like a lot of turnaround. So you're better waiting a week until you find the right person. Always perform background checks. Conduct thorough background checks, including the criminal records, BCI, fingerprinting, sex offender, and ensure the safety and well-being of the children in your care. Um, Every state has a different uh, checklist, but make sure that you have all of those checks done uh, before um, the person comes into your program. Assess their knowledge of child development. Ask questions that assess the child uh, and candidate's understanding of the child development principles and their ability to implement age-appropriate activities for the children that they would be working with. Um, you can do that both written and verbal. Uh, you could do that uh, creating assessments that people will fill out before they even get an interview with you. Um, Ask them about their interest in a CDA program if they don't have um, any formal training and see if that's something they would be interested in. So that way you have a good understanding of what trainings they've already taken and what they would still need to do. Evaluate their communication skills. Effective communication is essential in a child care setting. So assessing the candidate's ability to communicate clearly and effectively with both children and parents. And you might want to take a look if you use an online app in your school, which most programs do now, are they able to, you know, work on an app? Do they are they have some semblance of being tech savvy in terms of um, the tools that you use? So you may use uh, something like Teaching Strategies Gold, which has many components, or you may just use technology for attendance sheets, uh, sign in, sign out, uh, the daily forms, how often a child ate, those types of things. So really think about the communication tools you use um, on electronic platforms as well. And how would this person uh, fare doing that? And how frequently would they need to do it? And uh, I would make sure that you articulate that during the interview. Also consider their compatibility with the center's values. Evaluate whether the candidate aligns with your center's mission, vision, values, and educational philosophy, as this will help ensure that they are a good fit within your team. Assessing their problem-solving skills, like child care settings often require quick thinking, problem-solving. So ask several scenario-based questions to gauge the candidate's ability to challenge challenging situations or how they handle challenging situations. Um, So make sure you do that. And evaluate their ability to work in a team as child care centers thrive on teamwork. Assess the candidate's ability to collaborate with colleagues and contribute positively to the team environment because they may have all the qualifications in the world, but if they're toxic, they're going to take your team morale down and it doesn't take long for that to happen. So make sure that you don't have a negative Nelly. Make sure that you have somebody who can take feedback and constructive criticism or understand that not every program does things the same way uh, because that sometimes happens too, that you find yourself untraining people who have worked at a program for a really long time. They're very used to doing it the way that their previous center did it. Um, consider their flexibility because child care settings can be unpredictable. So it's really important that you hire somebody who can adapt to change in circumstances and schedules. So um, I would say for us, that has been something that 
um, really has been a challenge. And so when you hire somebody who can only work a very strict schedule, just keep in mind that that could cause some challenges down the road. And if it does, how will you handle that? And lastly, trust your instincts. Because finally, you know that what you feel in your gut typically is correct. So if a candidate gives you a positive gut feeling and meets all the necessary requirements, then they may be the right fit for your center. By following these 15 tips, you can streamline your hiring process and increase the chances of finding the perfect staff member for you in your child care setting. And remember, investing time and effort in the hiring process for the right person will ultimately benefit the child care program, the children, and your team to contribute to the success of your center. So hopefully that was helpful. Thank you for tuning in to our daily tips on the Child Care Director's Chair. If you haven't liked or subscribed to our channel, please do so today and share with a friend or colleague. Thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful day.